All right, hi everyone. Welcome to part four. Uh, I do have to. Uh, I do have to apologize on how short this one will be. I, I really do apologize. But uh, I promise that I will make it up to you guys. God, I keep forgetting how busy and annoying the main street is on this part. Like, goddamn. Oh, I should probably go down to, like, Curiosity to see if they have any more packs for Cards Against Humanity so I know what to, what to get and how much to spend. I haven't bought cards from Cards Against Humanity since, like, the Popcorn Festival last year. And, uh, I bought four packs last year. And, uh, I still haven't even gone through all of them yet. And I've had them for a, l a little over a year. But, uh, anyways, we're gonna continue off where we were on the last part. Last part, we were talking about my starters and where I'm at in gameplay of... Pokemon Gens 1 through 4. In this in this part, we're going to attempt to get through the other four of uh, other four generations. But uh, you know, we'll have to see on that because uh, we're kind of iffy on time right now. Uh, okay, Gen 5. Now here's the thing: I haven't fully touched Gen 5 yet. I had a practice file. And uh, the one I picked on my practice file was Tepig. So, uh, I think I did. T t I think I did told, tell myself that. Uh, That my uh, starter for Gen 5 will be Tepic. Oh, I just realized I have I chose a lot of fire types. And uh, speaking of fire types, <laughs> Gen 6. Uh, Gen 6, uh, you can actually have two starters from what I hear. Yeah, you get a uh, Kalos starter, which will be... Uh, uh, Chespin, Fennekin, and, uh, Froki. Which represents the, which I guess for, for the Gen 6 Pokemon, they represent the, uh, the Mage, Thief, and Fighter classes that you get in normal RPGs. Which, as you can probably guess, Chestnut is, Chestnut is the, uh, the fighter. Uh, oh, it ain't raining, is it? Okay, okay. I, I thought I heard rain for a sec. I'm like, oh shit. Um, Fennekin's final vol form is the mage, and Greninja is the uh, the thief. Because, you know, Grass and Fighting, Fire and Psychic, which I thought was a weird type, but it kind of makes sense if you're doing it that way. And then Water and Dark. Uh, so far in gameplay in Gen 6, all I've done is that I created my character. That is all I've done. But I have done a little bit of... Uh, extra playing and not saving kind of thing so that way you know i can get used to the mechanics of gen 6 and uh, i like it it would definitely be a game that i would definitely spend a lot of time on because uh well hell look at me i spent a shitload of time on gen 4 being on the same save file for the last like four years I haven't even finished it and i keep saying that every year like oh i'm gonna finish it this year but i never do Okay, that is all the time we have. Thanks for watching.